Yeah, bro, he's doing a no no jumper interview, man. Yo, look at the chat. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is going on in the chat, bro? <laughs> Yo, this is fucking insane, bro. Holy shit. Look at the chat, bro. I finally was like, all right, fine. I'm going to do the YouTube dive and watch like an hour and see, see what the fuck this guy's about. Yeah. And I was pretty intrigued, and I got kind of deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole. That's what it is. It's a rabbit hole. So if you watch one video, you just- Yo, they even spam me that I'm five foot five, bro. Mm -hmm. Damn. Like, so what did you see that like- I'm five foot five like, oh, now, bro? Fuck. I saw somebody- If you want to be out here doing this whole- thing there's a million examples of people who are trying really really hard to protect a brand and an identity and, and to do something that's going to check all the right boxes so they can get the brand deals and so they won't have people making threads about them on twitter and you seem I'm like not somebody five foot five, who, i'll tell you that much you know my whole story is i never got into it to be toxic i just kind of was like you know what, let me get a camcorder let me record the monitor and just that's some fucking cap right there and it bro. just came out naturally and then over the years, it just went from me gaming to just doing stuff in media, covering viral topics, things like that. But obviously, I mean, in this day and age, you got to be on a filter. Oh, so South Central or where it happened on the street, mm. stuff that played up on the street. Um, yeah, it was some stuff that happened. I was always so in L.A., I was always that kid that <laughs> I was quiet. I was tall. So a lot of kids wanted to try me. The fucking chat, bro. Different. I, I was this what helped me like everybody hated me because I was tall mm. so I was tall I was quiet I was like how tall are you like six five six, and there's five. something about being tall because yeah. I, I feel like I'm kind of in the same box I'm six three uh -huh. and something about the fact that I didn't want to play basketball and I just wasn't like yep. trying to be on some jock type mm -hmm. thing I definitely felt like I got a lot of from yeah. people as a young guy I mean I still get it they're like, oh, do you play ball? Or are you an athlete? I'm yeah. like, eh. I answered that question about five billion times when I was young. Yeah, like, exactly. oh, you play basketball? Tennis. Then she put me in baseball. So I had to get taken out of baseball. Then I was in basketball. Got taken out of basketball. So I always liked sports, mm. but I guess I was too shy to pursue it at that particular time in life. So Yo, it's a whole it war was. going on in the mm. chat, I didn't come bro. out of my shell until... Look at the chat. Until I started touching It's a fucking internet. whole mm. war, bro. That's what kind of helped me. Well, was it about fighting games in particular? Because just to date myself, too much time with <laughs> like is a Tony war, bro. Two and Final <laughs> Fantasy VII and that sort of era. Yeah. So you're asking me where you meet a video game? Yeah, and what, what about uh, fighting games in fighting particular? Games. Because I didn't chat, have a bro. big fighting game era in my life. Jesus. But then I kind of just stopped at a certain point. And then when I see somebody like you mm -hmm. streaming, and I'm like, yeah. I missed that. Like, I should have should have stayed with that. What drew me to fighting games is like the competitive aspect. So I always like playing like that, right? Mm. But I'm playing against the computer as a kid. So aspect of fighting games. So you really started like studying and working on the game and like trying to figure out how to be better? Yeah, because there was a particular time where I cared about that. So I think the last time I cared about that was 2018. Mm. Yeah. And then I just, I just completely flipped, like flipped the script. I just was like, well, I'm not going to play competitive. So I'll just be a character. Mm. I'll just... His, there's no money in it, so. Really? Yeah. So you like, could be the best Street Fighter player in the world and it doesn't mean anything financially? It's not a real accurate. <laughs> like, Look at I the mean, chat. There's, there's like a million dollar tournament <laughs> Capcom is holding this year, but right. I mean, the chances. Few and far between. Exactly. So let's just say this. I can go on 20 auditions <laughs> to try to be an actor, right? Or I could play a Street Fighter tournament and maybe win. Yo, like I've been watching you for years. Mm. So it changed. Yeah, because there's like a ton of video game type people who like mm -hmm. want to transition into that and it's actually really really hard yeah. for people to follow you to that so the fact that you have any kind of level of stickiness across the board with that it's like it seems like anybody who's like really talented <laughs> on camera at some point pivots away from the video game and more into the the personality all those phase guys ended up being vloggers and <laughs> it's a whole war going in the chat bro that's kind of like the transition i started to take in 2020. Yo, you know what? Started focusing on a different aspect. Hold on a second. And I guess for my audience, I feel like I'm blessed because the second I stopped playing Street Fighter, they could have tuned out. Mm -hmm. So the fact that um, 
I could kind of do anything on stream. Like, yo, the LA issues. Mm. So it was, it was a little bit more subtle. It was a little bit more subtle. It wasn't, it wasn't as critical. I started to um, meet different kids. Cause you mm -hmm. know, in LA, it was just like, you know, you had blacks, you had Hispanics, but now I'm like interacting with white kids for the first time, Asian kids for the first time. So things are a little bit different. Yeah. Mm, and and <laughs> you, do you like it more? It was like less of a culture of sort of toughness and people fucking with each other. I mean, I, I still had to like go through shit because I was still quiet and I was still tall. So people would still like try shit. I don't know. It's, it's something about me where like people, they just, they just want to try me. I don't yeah. know what it is. I don't, even to this day on the internet, people still want to try me. Bro, you like, talk too much shit. That's why, videos. man. Yeah. But do you like walk through the Walmart and like some, some random guy wants to fight you? Nah, nah, no, nothing it's not like, like that. that. Nah, nothing like that. Okay. Nothing like that. Um, that's that's actually never happened before. Mm. If anything, maybe these days, I guess, is more so. Oh shit, you're the you should kill yourself, guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's it's more stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, okay, you take a screenshot true. of that. Yeah, shit. yeah, like I wouldn't do that shit today. <laughs> but back then, my friend he was like, "Yo, like he kept sending me his videos." I said, "Yo, if you keep sending me his videos, I'm gonna make a fucking video." Right. So I did that pre low tier guy. So that was actually my first video on the internet. Right. Yeah. Shit. And I remember thinking, like, you mm -hmm. like your financial future is not secure enough for you yeah. to just be giving all your fucking money away. What are you thinking? Facts. And so now when I see him talking about being broke, I'm like, maybe I should have verbalized Yo, look at this shit, thing. bro. <laughs> but what was it about Boogie that look really at pissed this shit. you off? He was fat. To yourself to not acknowledge how just sickening that is and how you as a person who manages to stay in relatively good shape, you just kind of look at him and you're like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, how how did you do this to yourself? Yeah, how did he get there? So, um. Yeah, I mean, I watch where these days. They timed shit. you, bro? Right. <laughs> They're fucking to, timing people right now? I don't want to. <laughs> right. Yeah. But so, okay, when, like, you start to get this, like, reputation for basically being this troll slash, like, yeah. angry person. What, what, what was it? Would you say that it's just, like, the fact that you're kind of, like, incentivized to just be that really raw version of yourself? Yeah, I think it's because... The chat, bro. Just Fuck. Like, you know what? Let me write down my fucking jokes. You guys going me, in. I'm going to say this. I'm going to do this to your mom. This, that... I never did that. Right. Yeah, just <laughs> real, KT real Cuckdale. Anger. Real, real <laughs> angry because I couldn't control it back then. I yeah. was always Do I sleep? Head, so. Nah, bro. Yeah, now I can control it. I have no it, fucking so sleep, man. Things are different. How'd you learn that controlling looking to the chat for approval? And I feel like it's easy to lose yourself in that. And I think that therapy, if anything, is really focused on sort of... Biscuit, yeah, bro. Being able to free yourself of that, I guess. I mean, you guys want to see the filter in this shit? Form of acting, but then again, it, let me know if you want to see the filter. Playing somewhat of a character in a sense, you got to right. entertain. So, you guys History want it? X, he All right, was I got so you in that neo-Nazi character. Yeah. That Hold on one second. Negatively I got you, bro. Let me just relationships. It's gonna be yeah, a pain in the ass, but yeah, because yeah, I got to change yeah. a lot of things. I mean, you also, I feel like what's important for streamers too. I would say acting classes. Yeah, because so this there you can really peel back layers you never knew existed. Really? We take acting classes. Display you capture too. You look at things differently. You crack open a different code. I think it would. Let's see, bro. Existed. So interesting. I never yeah, thought taken, of it like yeah, that. I've taken, I've taken a few acting classes. Is acting? So Is it doing I was that? Playing that shit since I was like a kid, but right. yo, I bigger boss, thanks for the five, man. Type of level. Right. It was just at a certain point, it's just obvious. Oh, there's a bunch of other guys who are way fucking better than me. Yeah, two never cups on stream talking about nothing. And um, like I said, I never got into it to be the best. I got into it to. He probably does know. That's like the reason why he got the interview. On those guys, because 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 Adam is the same thing also. Mm. So I was able to overlords or whatever. He's he's obviously like just taking his shit to a crazy level, but he's also managed to stay relatively safe throughout it. Mm -hmm. Then you look at somebody like Aiden Ross, who's just basically like he had like like I remember interviewing him at the very beginning, and he had like a very clean image, and you could kind of imagine him just being gigantic in a certain way, and then instead he decides to go in the direction of hanging out with Andrew Tate and saying the n-word and just kind of basically like taking it as not brand friendly as possible so like how do you look at those two routes at this point those options I mean the car kind of moved on either because they were kind of edgy and offensive or because they just got offered deals in other places offered deals like where kick <clears throat> yeah the kicks and the rumbles and the I mean, but, but the then a lot of people like I think of Aiden Ross, it's like, of course, he needs to be on kick. Yeah. He just would not be able to survive on Twitch with the kind of stuff that he's been doing, like, humor-wise. I mean, now. I mean, shit, he was surviving just fine before. Yeah. Until he started getting edgy. 
Yeah. Yeah. I do this for a couple of years and then never work again. It's true. Yeah, I think I think Aiden is pretty set. But now he just he kinda just gets to chill and do whatever the fuck he wants. Yeah. Which Colombian StarCraft you know, like player. Somebody said the N word is it's more like saying dude. I know this a lot man of people, said Colombian Starcraft like, player. Something like that a couple years ago, but it's like <laughs> I got Armenian homies that say it, Hispanic homies that say it, Asian homies that say it. I feel like it evolved into just like holy saying, shit, bro. bro I haven't played Starcraft in a, years, a man. Fight video on World Star. Mm. Nobody's black. They're still saying nigga. Like they're still saying the N word. Mm. But like on YouTube, if you see somebody uploaded something of you and yeah. it's got like a million views, it can just be like, well, man, that's actually like rent for this month that you just yeah. made off that shit, you piece of fucking shit. Exactly. <laughs> Especially, I mean, the thing too, you can't see if shit is monetized on YouTube anymore. Mm. Remember at first you could see like the little yellow dots to see if ads was running. Oh, really? And you can't see that shit anymore. So you don't know Those if somebody's shit, monetized bro. or not. Oh, I've had YouTube premium for so long, but you don't even see the yellow dots on the timeline anymore? Nah, even... Oh, by any means. I mean that was that was Axe niche. It was his niche was like he goes hard on chicks. But I mean I, I watch Axe every day just like I watch No Jumper. And uh, I think over the time he just I think he kind of geared away from that. Like mm. he only goes hard on like Nicki, Nicki Nicki Minaj a little bit or something. But for the most part, I feel like his approach towards women now or like somebody must have told him behind the scenes like yo like just calm down a little bit. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't see it as much anymore. Well, I mean he went crazy on SZA. And pasted what the stream was, and it let me see what it was, and I recorded it, and I literally was scanning past a World Star Hip Hop video. So um, my <laughs> editor, he was uploading clips on my clip Get channel. Get the fucking and chat, got bro. Me for Jesus. Strike circumvention and just clip my fucking channel. So yeah, I lost my shit for something so simple. That's insane. Yeah. And so you can't really have like an alternate channel anymore. I mean. Anytime somebody's tried making like a positive channel towards me, they get clipped because I got people that are just on my ass. <laughs> really? Yeah, just on my dick crazy. So, in theory, you could have a channel that just uploads videos of you. It's just you can't own the channel, right? I mean, yeah, if I was somebody else, I just feel like. But you every, have people on your ass, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, if there's something that's positive on the internet, Mexican on YouTube, mechanic, they'll just flock <laughs> to it and mass flag it. And Fuck. the internet is like a bot system. So. If you spam it enough, the shit just might work. Mm. So with me, I feel like I'm the only person that just, you know, can't have like a cloak channel. So I don't know. Maybe it's been a while. Maybe I can. I don't know. Do you feel, you feel like you have like a real little army, a little league of people that are like dead set on taking you down, whatever you do online? Because that's one thing your man Boogie298 definitely yeah. has. I mean, yeah, that's, that's been my life since 2015. Right. Yeah, I just got, I don't know, it's because I'm cute. I, 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 I <laughs> As a guy, why would you care what the fuck I'm doing? You know, right. it's, it's a whole discord of people that are just after me, yeah. which is just weird. Because if you don't know me, why do you care? Do you ever look at it? You just hear about it. I mean, I've seen it and shit. I've, I mean, I've looked, but I still can't process like why the fuck do you care so much? Really? Yo, Trevor, yeah, bro, you like, here? I mean, it's just it's been my life since 2015. It's just something I just deal with, learned how to deal with. If any of the people in that discord were watching, what would you want to say to them? Keep watching. <laughs> it's just that simple. You wouldn't want to discourage them, try nah. to ask them to like maybe, hey, cut it out, nah, buddy. Just, that's not what I do. Like, keep watching, keep posting. <laughs> I used to get mad when people would steal my shit and post it, but I'm like immortal on the internet because you guys keep posting. But that was kind of part of your heel turn at a certain point where people started to look at you like you're an asshole, right? Because mm -hmm. you started getting people's channels taken down for re uploading shit of you. I mean, I would like, but. I mean, technically, you can't get anybody's channel taken down from uploading your shit. You just counter it, and it'll just come back. Because I'm not gonna go to a lawyer and like, yo, write me some, write me some forms. Bro, to, shut you know, up, man. Forms. Shut the so fuck up. You really can't get your channel taken down for stealing content. Mm. So anytime I was like, when I was in my flagging mode, nobody's channel was really getting taken down because they would counterclaim it as fair use, and it would just come right the fuck back up. Right. So eventually, I just stopped, and I just was like, wait a minute, this is free promo, so. Yeah, keep recording me, keep uploading me. And now you have people like Andrew Tate who, like, apparently built his whole audience off of, like, encouraging his fan base to make TikToks and shit of him. Yeah, See, that's a so smart that's thing to do, bro. It. Even if it's labeled negative, it doesn't matter. You're immortal on the internet. So right? then why are you so, bitching about it? Yeah, after a while, I just stopped letting it bother me. Like, fuck it. Like, people just kind of find out about you like that, but mm -hmm. at a certain point, it just seems, like, kind of insane. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're losing out on some revenue for sure. He said illegal. Illegal border hopper made 20. 
Oh my every goodness, the racism is crazy. Whatever the fuck somebody's doing on YouTube that steals my shit, I could have millions of dollars. Right. But um, I mean, when I look up your shit, I don't see anybody else's shit but yours. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever you guys are doing is working. But then when I look at TikTok, it's yeah. like, holy fuck, I would oh, be scrolling through that, that shit and like half the things I see. Now, granted, it's because I watch my own shit on TikTok, but mm -hmm. it's like, I just see so much of it. I'm just like astounded. Like, this is whole I'm Hispanic. I'm going to be cool. That's, that's one thing, <laughs> just to get big picture, that I feel like one day is going to exist. I mean, he literally like responded to me. Yo, big up to you, bro. Copy fight clips and just screen recordings and GIFs. And Mexican and whatever janitor. Whatever they want that seems like <laughs> Ecuadorian it body shop owner. To get views and, and Ecuadorian body shop Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Making 20 grand a month or whatever it is on just posting tweets. So it's like completely changing how people use Ecuadorian body shop owner. That's true. So most people. Yo, they make money though. So, Twitter farmers, they just send this Colombian to jail. They just quote it and then just basically, it's a couple of people like that. Yeah. They just quote it and try to go viral. You got a kid yet? Nah, not yet. That'll yeah. fuck your algorithm up. Yeah. Yo, hopefully, never. Hopefully, never he gets a kid, bro. And half blippy. Man, that shit is scary. Having a kid is probably one of the most terrifying things. How old are you now? How old do you think I am? <laughs> 29. Let's go with it. Yeah? Yeah, let's go with it. Yeah. <laughs> what okay. the fuck? Nah, but no I mean, kids. And yo, kind of what? a lot of different ages, to be honest. Exactly. So the, that's what's, yo, just say it, <laughs> you know, bro. I mean, there ain't no jumper. There. You yeah, don't got to lie, there. bro. But, um, that's also one of the things people like. You're literally in no jumper. There is no reason like, for you to lie about your age. I just started telling people I was 50. Right. I said, fuck it. I mean, the more mysterious you make yourself out to be, the harder it'll be for them to get a grip on, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mysterious, being mystique, mm. that's what keeps you like in the light. If I tell you everything... And you're just like, okay, well, I'm bored of this guy. Right. Like, it all correlates. So, yeah, just like you said, we can go out to lunch for free, but what's the point? We could just sit here and correlate your time. <laughs> and pan de bono. Pan de bono. Yo, pan de bono tastes, tastes good as shit, bro. That it would be great to sit down and it have tastes lunch good as hell. Yeah. But we would it never sucks do I'm on keto, man, because I would have a couple right now. And boom, we're going to sit on camera and talk for two hours, and then that's what we're doing with our time because it yeah, just makes content. more sense it's yeah, kind of that's, that's content. but not? then those same people if you have a conversation with them off camera you end up having talking about shit that's way outside the boundaries those of what facts, you would talk about six nine mm -hmm. and i was interviewing everybody talking shit about six nine yeah and then i said one thing to six nine's baby mama about how i thought act was kind of <laughs> like at the chat. went too hard on girls or like picked on girls or some shit like that yeah. and me and him meanwhile were like not really talking at that point maybe we went three, four, five, six months without really talking, anybody he beefs with, he's making them way, way bigger. Mm -hmm. So he'll beef with a little Dirk or he'll talk shit about a King Vaughn or he'll beef with like, big rappers and stuff. <laughs> but in terms of like media personalities, I think that especially when Fresh he was at the height of his bro. career. So I don't know if that changed how he thought about it or anything like that, but definitely <laughs> like, yeah, that's a weird thing about, like I'm in a lot of subcultures Holy like shit, in rap. Dude. Somebody will really beat the fuck out of you. Somebody will really shoot you if mm -hmm. you fuck up. I'm in poker. Yeah. In poker, I know dudes who ran off on the plug for millions of dollars. Damn. and Ain't nobody ever touched them. In the whole entire history of the poker world, I do not barely know about anybody who ever got touched for fucking up. Yeah. Everything I talk about, I experienced. Mm. So if I'm a if I'm a certain way about a certain situation, I have a certain idea about a situation. Argentina World Cup champion, like a chick cheating, <laughs> or I'm catching some, you know, some chick texting somebody this and that. I've dealt with it before. I'm not just here, fresh and fit, espousing mm -hmm. where you as a guy should be able to fuck whoever you want, and your girl should basically just be doing whatever you say or whatever. It's like. I know rappers. Who, for sure, I don't have even know what is that. Like that. I'm sitting here interviewing Blueface with his baby mama chick, who's like angry, but also you're staying right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, Salvadorian like MS13 gang member. Yeah. Based Jesus, off of, um, man. I feel like you got to. Yo, Izzy, that's funny as hell. Your central nervous system when it comes to pussy. Mm. Like if you don't. <laughs> I like that. Yes. Fuck a lot of chicks. How do you defeat temptation? Mm. Like always what tell people you got to fuck at least. Say a man should have at least 50 bodies what? before he gets married. I agree. I think yeah. 50 sounds like a pretty solid number. Like, cause oh, these I two can't, dudes like, are dumbasses, like, bro. A lot of dudes, like, I feel like, man, look at me and be like, oh, like you and your chick, like, we're both doing good in life and you got together and created a bond and mm -hmm. then you guys have a business together and you Yo, do all this shit. Three, and, like, obviously Appreciate the porn it. thing makes it a little the weird. Silent Haddock but donated three dollars and forty something to be admired. And yeah. I, I, I know agree. How that way. is Took something dope. Up, but if you're 21 <laughs> mm -hmm. and you don't have any life experience, like I have friends who got into a relationship when they were 18, 19, 20 and got married 
And it's like, I remember just watching it and being like, fuck no, that is Dude. not going to work. There's no way that's going to work. And then it didn't work because they had no fucking life experience. And the truth was, is that the girl that they married to me this would have been a girl frito. that I hung out with for a week when I was 20. And then I, and I fucked her and I learned a little bit about Bolivian what I liked and what I didn't like. Thief. And then I moved on to a different chick and kind of got that Bolivian tire thief. Every guy should, before they take that leap, should definitely have like 50 bodies and up. Narcotraficante. Yeah, by then you're used to the pussy. Pussy's <laughs> no longer a temptation. If you're going to be in a relationship with a girl, mm -hmm. how do you usually end up meeting <laughs> through your community, Paraguayan. through online, and these girls who like kind of see Paraguayan you on Twitch or whatever, worker, Jesus, or you have an man. actual social life offline? I couldn't fuck with a chick like that. Uh, definitely a social life offline. Like 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 trolling aside up, this is horrible social media as far as like a dating you know what i'm saying something, but oh, okay. i don't fuck with this is horrible really? this is a horrible yeah, ass ass fucking uh, not worth it i just felt too interview thirsty right now like, uh, yeah. like, like this dude outside of raging he's not this, like he's, he's not interesting ago probably like three years ago i stopped fucking with apps right yeah so uh he's just a basic cali yeah, dude like a social life a streamer i mean a chick's gonna understand me but like the chances of you finding that is like slim to none like right exactly so that's an unrealistic approach. Ah, fucking forget. Like, Hunterian exactly popsicle seller. This whole thing called New Atheism. <laughs> and you had the four horsemen of atheism who basically just like Christopher Hitchens, Sam Harris, a couple other people like wrote books about <laughs> atheism. Yeah. And it was this whole Hunterian popsicle seller. The, new atheism seller. Movement the funny stuff, part is I know like, exactly what he's talking about. Have a lot of people writing like really intellectual books about why. Right. I feel like every woman should lie about their body count because. If you tell me that if you fuck 30 guys, Mexican you know, like, vendor. every time I'm with you, I'm gonna think like, damn, like she's solid, but she fucked 30 guys. Or what they really like to say is how you know their line is they'll say, oh, well, I had sex with three guys and I was in a relationship. <laughs> New for York three, empanada so, munching restream. Um, I didn't fuck, I fucked the same guy for three years. Then I met you. Mm. Like I shouldn't judge because I definitely was super promiscuous. The older you get, yeah. the harder it is to imagine a caring about the body count thing. I think Amazon tribe like, member. I'm 40. Yeah. If I were to end up dating a girl my age, it's like, how many bodies is she going to get in like 25 yeah. years of shit? She'll lie. She'll say she's only had sex with six Puerto guys. Rican right. car yeah. shop yeah. salesman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not wanting to let me go because yeah. of the status of, and Lama that I care have group. now achieved. Because I feel like Caretaker. once you fuck Taylor Swift, once your DMs <laughs> are just lit forever. And in the gay community, mm -hmm. keeping your booty hole clean, there's like a huge premium on that. Like guys flex that. Yeah. Which I mean, I flex keeping my asshole clean. I'm not even a part of that. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? What I, I'm like, yo, I got a whole ritual. Like, <laughs> really? Yeah, just a whole like, you taking off the shower head and using it as a bidet. It's just, I don't know, it's a thing. Like, I got to make sure my shit is, because you know, I, I don't know. I think that's why chicks don't mind. Unhinged, yo. Thanks for the treatment. My ass, huh? mm. Yo, I can't wait for that, bro. I can't wait for that day. Three dollars and forty-two cents. This is why God is going to destroy the earth. Vegas like, gives you that okay. feeling of like, oh, I can meet a hot girl at any turn. Yeah, like that's what happened in Vegas. So, not that I'm out there trying to fuck, but you know, you're a man, so you're observant. Yeah. Which I don't think is good. Oh I wait, is that is that, that uh, you should stretch it out a little? Is that Dale's bit. alt in that bitch? Because like whatever you're doing when you yo, Dale, off, Dale's like in the chat right now. Training yourself to perform when you do have sex. Yeah. So if you the fucking LTG Daily channel. Yo, that's him, bro. Yo, Dale, what's good, good man? How you doing, man? Three minutes. To me, jerking off is like the best excuse to beat off. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, that's what I used to do. That's what I need. Is to just <laughs> I, I own you, stalkers. Keep trying to get bit. to my level. That's what I used to do. You, you see, bro, what the fuck did I tell you? Oh, that's him. <laughs> that's literally his channel. Yeah, so I'll be scrolling and scrolling. Yo, Dale, bro, what's good, man? And be like, what's good, Dale? How you doing, bro? You chatting now, man? I'm not going to be. That's literally his fucking channel. Until I jerk off, looking at her on the internet. What's up, Dale? Oh, so you would do it without porn? Let's go. Tap inwardly. Shout out to the the fighting game community. Shout Jesus, out to the hip hoppers. Man, this was fucking the trash. They were about to see an I'm over with here, a like rapper when they clicked on this. Yeah, I'm over this here. <laughs> Sorry to let you down. I'm over but, here uh, like mining a keyboard right now, bro. Man, I appreciate Absolutely. your time. We gotta do this yeah. again like, sometime. Like a keyboard that I'm gonna sell okay, and this you know. shit, bro. No tear god. No jumper. So fucking coolest boring. podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, really Instagram, etc. Like, comment, and subscribe. No if you want to support. Jesus, this was some trash ass shit, bro.